Hello everybody, welcome to Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Renata Boero, born in 1936 in Genoa. She enrolls at Liceo Artistico almost by instinct, but her destiny is further shaped also thanks to the encounter with two great artists. One day on a hill in Liguria, she comes across Felice Casorati, who is observing her while, instead of depicting the splendid surroundings, she is engaged in reproducing clots of earth. It is Casorati himself that suggests Boero sends her painting to the Rome Quatrenio, where it is in effect on show in 1959. The second encounter is with Emilio Scannavino, her professor, who passes on to her a kind of vibrancy of immediacy to transfer her ideas onto the canvas. The core idea that lays the groundwork for her future art is the discovery of art as a sequence, a rhythm, a story. This idea gets clearer as she studies the mosaics in Ravenna and the best relief of Benedetto and Telami in Parma. Following the academy, she works as a restorer at Palazzo Rosso in Chinoa, thanks to which she has the opportunity to deepen her knowledge of colors. It's especially those taken from natural substances. What's more, freeing the canvas from the frame and seeing it fluctuating, Renato Boero has got a decisive illumination. According to her, each painting is only a minuscule fragment of an immense artwork, the subject of which is painting itself. This reflection gives origin to a series of works titled Chromogrammy, which means handwriting, grammar of colors. To make out this concept, let's take an example. Do you know how a book is made? The printer prints large sheets of paper that subsequently get cut and folded. Each fold corresponds to a page. In fact, on the newly printed sheet of paper, we can see a sequence of squares arranged on diverse lines. So the chromogramma can be looked upon as an enormous book. Renata Boero phones a big canvas into many squares, each of which is soaked in colors taken from minerals and plants. Every section of the folded canvas, in the end, transforms itself into a page imbued with a story to narrate. The artist, by calculating attentively the reaction time of the materials, can obtain results regarding not only colors and odors, but also the tactile aspect of the painterly matter. But if the chromogramma were a storytelling, we would legitimately ask who has written the story? Renata Boero would answer the soil, the nature itself. So our next question would be, what has nature written? The answer would be the memory of the elements. In fact, according to certain theories applied, for instance, to homeopathy, elements would have memories, stories that can be reactivated. So in this case, what role would the artist assume as a the so-called shaman, Renata Boero acts as a medium to come into contact with the primitive forces of nature and give them meanings. Her problem is in fact to work not on nature but with nature. Needless to say, these ideas are born not by chance but by reflections. For example, the reflection on the magical rituals of the primitive people described by Levi-Strauss and the reflection on the archetypes theorized by Carl Gustav Jung, according to whom ideas would be inherent in the primordial images in all humanity since the dawn of the world. Therefore, there would exist a collective unconscious in which all human beings, even those pertaining to cultures far away in time and in space, 
can identify themselves. The Chromocrammy established Renata Boero as one of the most prominent artists of the 70s. She is invited to participate in diverse editions of Venice Biennial and of international exhibitions. But the uncanny interest in the energy intrinsic in natural colors hasn't left her. So her research goes on and culminates into a body of works titled Cerminazione. This time, her focus is set on the expansive energy of nature. In addition, the Cerminazioni are a tribute paid to the philosopher Simone Weil. The exceptional chromogramma I'm presenting you is displayed at the Modern Art Gallery in Bergamo. The intense colors immediately bring us closer to the poetics of the artist, to the evocation of the vital energy in nature, the energy with which the rural civilization was in perfect harmony. Whereas our civilization, which is usually characterized by artificiality, can hope to retrieve this energy also thanks to the art of Renata Boero. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolines, Deliciousness from the World of Art.